Story we're following at 5 o'clock. Four people facing charges now linked to what is being called a major fentanyl drug ring in southwest Baltimore. So police had worked with the state attorney's office and the mayor's office to make this happen. WJZ in your corner, live at city police headquarters tonight. Dennis Valera tells us this is a big win, Dennis, for all involved. Definitely, Rick. The police commissioner, the mayor, the state's attorney all noted a collaboration like this has not happened for a while. So they're all saying it will not be stopping anytime soon as well. They also noted that today, a big win for the city's group violence reduction strategy, which just expanded to where Shipley Hill, the neighborhood where this happened, is this year. Not one office can't do it by themselves, but together, collaboratively, we believe we can get the job done. A group effort to take down a group of alleged drug traffickers. Police say these five are responsible for peddling fentanyl in Southwest Shipley Hill neighborhood, also saying they're tied to violence in the area. One of the suspects, Kenneth Davis, also known as Kenneth Wadi, is still on the run. We recovered a half kilo of fentanyl, which can kill thousands of people. And we were able to also get a gun off the street. Police started investigating in January off a tip. By April, indictments were issued and arrests were made. While announcing the takedown, every single city leader present said this will continue happening to criminals in Baltimore. Those who continue to perpetrate a culture of violence in our city will be held to account and brought to justice. We will continue to work together to dismantle organizations that add to our nation's overdose epidemic and destroy our neighborhoods through drug trafficking and gun violence. Also getting the spotlight at the announcement, the city's group violence reduction strategy, managed by the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, or MONSI, it just expanded into southwest Baltimore in January. They say this investigation, these arrests, show the strategy's progress. As of yesterday, we've seen a 30% aggregate decrease in homicides and non-fatal shootings year over year since the activation of the Southwestern District in January. Now, Monsi, as part of the strategy, is now looking into what neighbors in Shipley Hill need in terms of resources and other services. Now, if you know where Kenneth Wadi is, he still remains at large. Please call police immediately.